Hello everybody and welcome back to Shadow Empire, where we are playing as the Select Federation. Last episode we ended off midway through a turn, because uh, we've thrown off we've thrown off our, our entire setup, what we normally go through because of uh because of us trying to shoot for one extra turn two episodes ago. <laughs> but uh okay, so we've got this going on right here. I don't think we can push them out. I think they're on, uh, what is their, are they on no retreat? Yeah, they're on the no retreat. They're not even on defensive. They're on, we're going to die here mode. So what we need to do is hit them with an air attack. We've got plenty of bombers that we can send in. And we're just going to strike them. All right, so about a third of the overall armored forces of the uh, tank destroyers have been dealt with, uh, and two of the RPG infantry battalion. Okay, not bad. Uh, now that I look at like what this composes of, it's getting. We should really rename this tile Bastone, because if you don't know, while the 101st Airborne was in Bastone, they weren't alone in Bastone. Actually, there was a tank destroyer force that was uh, there as well, who took part throughout the entire battle and were pretty pivotal in holding the uh, the town. Because basically, they would uh, they would just show up and they'd use tactics. Like, uh, like obfusc obfusc obfuscation kind of tactics to hide their true numbers from the Germans. And they would think there was like an entire, like an entirely extra unit, uh, like just a, a huge unit of tank destroyers in the town that's somehow still being supplied. I mean, it was only a couple of destroyers. It was only a small section of the unit. But yeah, it was, it was a, uh, uh, it's a it's kind of an unsung uh, part of the battle, if you really think about it. Not a lot of people know that they were even there. They always think, oh, it's, it's 101st Airborne. They're the ones that were at Best Stone. But you know, while they were, and their uh, contribu uh, contribution was very important, they weren't the only ones there. Okay, I think in the third is going to uh, redeploy here, and their objective will be to kind of create a force that will pull a lot of these guys down south while a rapid reaction force of militia and armor will kind of race around surrounding what they can. I think that's I think that's what we're going to do. I think our plan is to just hit these guys. Get rid of them so we don't have to deal with them anymore. And then, uh, fingers crossed, we can use what they've got. So, six to one, apparently. So, odds are just getting worse. Our best odds are with just these guys. With just the Cataphract. Which is a... A monitor type tank, an extra large chassis design that can support up to 400 millimeters of armor and up to 300 millimeter gun. It's armored as a beam gun and a 100 mil steel plate. But that's. I don't even think they've. These guys are laser rifle equipped, Gauss rifle equipped. These guys have, it's got 300 millimeter polymer plating, 150 howitzer. Okay, so it's not actually an anti-tank gun. You know what, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to try and attack with just the two, t no, we're going to attack with just the cataphract and we're going to see what that results in. I don't, it says six to one odds. I doubt that's right, but let's try it. Okay, they immediately retreated. Okay, yep, yeah, that uh, apparently worked. How the... How in the hell did that work? How 
how did that work? <laughs> what, the, what the hell? All right, so we came through there and we got that. Um, hmm, okay. So these killers are howitzer armed. They're not AT armed. That's good to know. This fucking black hole is still here. That atomic launcher. Is that the only atomic launcher I've, uh, we've seen so far? As far as I can tell, I think it is. How are the rebels doing? They still exist. That's better than I thought. Okay. Good to know. What is the air base level here? It's almost level five. Okay. Thinking what we're going to do is raise from regiment size. Let's pick up level bomber. Pelican? Is it the Pelican that's the level bomber type we want? Model level bomber Pelicans, yep. Okay, Pelican. It's just when I think Pelican, I think uh, I think transport because Halo. Uh, so we're going to do a, a wing of level bombers. Pelicans. Got enough for it. Looks of it. Uh, actually, we don't have enough for it. We need ammunition. That's where we're low on ammo. Okay. Let's put a thousand of it in here. Okay. Trade off some of our resources here. So that. They don't have anything else. My cat wants to play fetch, but I'm working, Duke. Please let me let me work, buddy. Uh, so this was a wrestle bomb. Uh, what what the hell was this? I don't know. I think it's got. To, I think it's some sort of farm. I think it's got to be some sort of farm. We'll see next time. I mean, it's the same as this one, which is a yeah, it's a farm. So I think this is just a level five farm, which will help with our harvest. Uh, so we've taken that. It's not even a crossroads. It's just an anchor point for this line here. Uh, so we got that. These guys can start bombarding. These guys, Duke, you literally just dropped that in front of me. Did you, did you take it with you downstairs to just bring it back to me? Oh, God. Just give me a second, guys. Ah, oh, he's incorrigible. He comes here mewling, wanting me to throw it. All right, bombard them again. All right, it's the first time this turn, but... A second time, because we bombarded them last time. Okay. That is 4,000 ammunition. My lord. Okay. Then we definitely just need to pump all of that into ammo surprised is there like a uh is there a tech for ammunition that's something i should probably check like a like an industrial thing let's see not seeing it so we just have to make it which i guess makes sense So 
So, okay, that's what we'll do. Okay, well, nothing else we can really do this turn. So let's just go ahead and go to the next turn. See what happens. Then success against the Imperium, like an actual tactical military success on the line. We've actually killed some of their units. <sighs> what is the Imperium going to do? Sorry, taking a label off of my half-empty water bottle here. I can't not... I, I've got to take the label off. I don't know why. It's something I've just always done. Okay. What do we got? Hmm, not a lot of movement on the line. Hopefully. I'm thinking I'm going to try again with Diplomacy of the Imperium. Now that we've pushed them back, we have some advantageous positions. Because then they can just focus on Hushtat really try and like uh, garrison this section and then I mean once they deal with the Hushtat they garrison this section we garrison these sections here sweep across cut them off and knock them out would be the goal like the final goal I don't know if that's going to be a possibility though <sighs> things to talk about. What, what other subjects should we speak upon? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I could say, I, I, yeah, uh, this is actually like an interesting thing. Um... <laughs> Like, I know I talk about 3D printing a lot, but I'm just getting into it, so it's kind of like this new it's new thing for me, so I like talking on it. Uh, but, like, three, like, 3D printing files. Uh, stuff like all of the, like, like the STL files are not in and of themselves large, but when you really think about the, because, okay... A good example, I saw somewhere that somebody who was a, subscribed to a lot, or it was a part of a lot of, uh, like, 3D printing uh, Patreons. Like, there are patrons that you can, uh, there are Patreons that you can subscribe to, and, like, every month they release some files or give you discounts on files, etc. This guy was a part of a, uh, quite a few of them, and he had, like, something like a terabyte's worth of just files. A full terabyte. And some of these, like, I think the longest 3D printing file, like, Patreon's only been going for, like, a year. And you gotta really think about just <laughs> the end of this, <laughs> like, uh, 
<laughs> you're gonna need to have some cloud storage or something to have access to all your files or or just just have like a lot of archival like uh drives <laughs> full of just files it's kind of amazing all right Gain logical thought. Cool. Got the Zeus 2. That's finished. Awesome. Got the mechanized MG infantry core finished. Cool, cool. All right. Let's have the third infantry continue on its merry way. Get this armor where it needs to go. All right. We are almost there. I think the rest of these guys will just keep going into the great unknown. Alright. Head down here. What do we got? Not too much. Okay. Oop, free folk marauder. All right. Organized resistance to our legal forces in the area, our pacifiers, pacification units. Okay. We got them surrounded there. Okay. Let's upgrade our logistics point there to a better truck station. Wrap those guys surrounded. Okay. What's our airstrike going to be for this turn? I think right there is good. So we got that. All of these and just go for it. Hmm. 
Okay. We killed quite a few armor. We killed the entire 10th Armored Battalion. Uh, about almost half of the 6th Destroyer Battalion and a, qu uh, a quarter of the 13th Armored Battalion. As well as a couple infantry. Not a bad go of it. Let's do a ranged attack here. Bombard. Okay. Move that position. Uh, switch to do just a ranged attack. Continue the bombardment. Okay. Uh, let's look at decisions. Air Force is fine. Uh, model design counts. Model design. I don't. I don't freaking know. Light helicopter. Let's look at this. Let's do a. I don't know. Reconnaissance helicopter. Light rotor engine. Let's do a. Let's do a, a, a light rotor engine. Decent amount of fuel. No air to air. No air to ground. No cargo. Twelve hexes. No, because it's it's not worth it. It's honestly not worth it. Um. Don't need the heavy. Don't need the thropter. Get any new things for the infantry? Automatic rifle, combat armor. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Okay. I was gonna. I was hoping it would confirm, but I probably should know that's not a thing in this game. How much I've played it. Uh, motorized RPG infantry army. We're good with. Do that. Open an embassy with the coaling domain. Yeah, I'll accept embassies. Uh, let's promote us. Failure. Peace. To your quest asylum. No, we'll refuse to try and uh, gain some favor with them. Plus four to relations, good. Because holding domain that means cold. But hopefully, I mean, we've got embassies now, so that's good. So we got that. Done all this. are just aggressor lizards, so theoretically we should be able to attack them and actually beat them instead of uh, more of them than we thought. Yep. It's a massacre. Okay. We'll hold until we get reinforcements. Eh, it's a decent shot at succeeding. Okay. We'll hold then. <sighs> okay. Let's get our transport hub nationalized here and upgrade that sucker. Start pushing more with those. Rebels continue to exist. So that's good, at least. The longer their rebels hold out for, the better off we're going to be. Uh, apparently, there's a new Wilmagoo 
unit that just dropped in. It's got some anti-tank in it, so we're going to deploy that here for maybe a, an attack. Uh, all right. Looks about all we're really going to get out of them. So let's go to the next turn. Oh, one thing to check about these assets, these cyclers. Low on metal. Okay, so next turn we should, since we didn't splurge so much, we should have enough spare to keep those going. <sighs> See what they got. I hope there's a mechanic in the game where the longer you stay in one spot, the more... Uh, no, I know there is. You get more defensive buffs. So we kind of just have a World War One thing going on right now where we're both... We've both dug in and there's a no-man's land. The only thing saving me is the fact that Hushtat exists, so they can't exploit the fact that they have far more troops than I do. That and our air power, but we haven't been using our air power that much against them, mostly because of their anti-aircraft capability. Got some missile launchers, we'd be able to actually exploit that a little bit. Start bombarding them from across Hushtat territory with uh, <laughs> conventional tomahawks, essentially. Would be great to get nukes. If we could get some nukes, then we could uh, really start doing some damage. I still hate the fact that they've got a nuke that close, which is why we're... It's good that we're getting a level 5 airbase in the front here so we can get a new... So we can get those level bombers built, get them down here, and just start bombarding the location of their uh, atomic weapon atomic launcher essentially just need to get rid of it longer it's there <sighs> the more uneasy i become I'm hoping hushtat like pushes against the imperium i can deal with hushtat i can't deal with the imperium Okay, nothing too bad there. <sighs> the Colding Dominion. Or Domain, not Dominion. Domain. I'm hoping they uh, remain nice with me. Cold relations, but we're at peace. Plus 100. So hopefully it's good enough. Maybe get some more deals. Maybe we've got an embassy and everything.
What else we got? pretty minor thing right there hopefully we can deal with the last of these rebels very soon come on there we go. Killed 400, lost 200. More fuel deposits discovered. Yeah, more corruption. Okay. Well. Interesting. We are going to have to go ahead. Oh, just want to check this. Okay, that's almost done. Good. Uh, but yeah, uh, we have this whole turn to do, but we're gonna have to do that next episode because we're at time for this one. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you'd like to, please leave a comment down below. So, uh, thank you for joining me, for everybody. If you like this video, please leave a comment down below. So hit that like button if you want to support the channel. Subscribe button down below. So let's take a look at the description down below where links to my Discord and my Patreon page. But I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye.